merħba l-ura fil-program Maltese Down Under. Il-kollega tijaj Mark Avellino fil-taqsima li jmiss ser il-aqqana ma awtur Australian tanisel Malti, David Shkembri. On today's program we're speaking with David Shkembri, an Australian author with Maltese descent. Welcome, welcome to Maltese Down Under, David. Oh, thank you for having me. Could you just tell me how you got into writing? I've been writing ever since I was in primary school and it just developed through my education and I read a lot of literature uh, of the horror genre which is I guess uh, you know literature that I found very enjoyable. So when you um, started writing at a young age and you sort of found this fascination with um, the horror genre, um, did you ever imagine that you'd sort of like years later be actually following through with that and actually uh, writing stuff that people would see? Not until my English teacher, teacher took me aside in high school and basically told me if you keep doing this you'll you'll get published one day. So I took that as inspiration to to take writing a lot more seriously and yeah so he, he effectively I guess put put fuel to the fire if you will. At what point did you decide that you're going to actually send the manuscripts out into the world and you were good enough to actually um, give it a go to sort of see what other people reading your work would would, would react to it? Oh that that was um that was a big step I was I was very much a I guess a in the closet writer at the time and it just happened through a doorway of opportunity. It, uh, I was involved with the Australian Horror Writers Association in its very young stage. And there was uh, an opening for an Australian author in a podcast series during Halloween, which was being held in California. And I was approached um, and they basically said, we know you write, so can you get in touch with this editor? And, and send one of your stories in. This was a very big outing, so it was either make or break, really. If uh, I'd have sent it to her and you know she said, look, this is rubbish, um, that basically probably would have ended what mm. I was going to do. But fortunately, she was very impressed with what she, what she read, and it all started from there, basically. I got um, good exposure through the podcast uh, program and got, uh, yeah, got, my, got my name out there, got a few inquiries, and that's when I decided to start writing uh, literature to send out to other markets. So, so yeah. how many years would you consider yourself to be writing in a professional sense? Probably in a professional sense, it's probably only been, I'd say, maybe about four years, mm -hmm. uh, actually sending stories out to bigger markets that, yep. uh, you know, the larger market markets obviously have a, a very strict set of guidelines and they have an enormous submission pool. So your name is getting basically picked out of hundreds and hundreds and mm -hmm. hundreds. So mm -hmm. those are the markets that I send to now. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you were to um, so look at the way that you work and how you decide on um, what aspect of horror you're going to be writing about, what, what, inspired, what inspires you when you sit down with a blank piece of paper or on your computer to kind of start a story, uh, a short story that you're that's a very interesting question. <laughs> um, it's, it, it, it all goes on, it just can either just go on a feeling or just an idea or you think about an ending sometimes. There's a lot of different things that would inspire a story to get written. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a variety of things. It could be dreams, it could be a conversation you overhear on a bus, anything could mm. start off a story. And depending on whether it be supernatural or whether it be more psychological, more... Um, I guess dealing with real life elements that that is um, probably goes down to the mm. kind of market I'll be aiming for at the yeah. time. So yeah. So so I noticed that you've got a few we've got a few things here which are, um, you've got so a compilation that has some of your yep. work in it. Then you've got a few of those. Another one um, <laughs> there, and then you've got. Um, uh, this this one here, which um, I believe is just a whole series of compilations of your own stories. Yes. And you've um, is it. Am I right? And you, you've done the illustrations in this as well? Yeah, that's yeah. correct, yeah. yes. So um, when you're kind of looking at sort of um, coming up with this sort of product here, which um, I can imagine can be quite a quite a kind of um, a daunting task to, <laughs> yes. to sort of say, okay, I'm going to actually put my name to the whole thing yes. and I'm going to illustrate it as well as if there's not enough work to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so, so um, how did that process, how long did that take, you know, to sort of match the images to the words and 
that kind that, of that can it, it sometimes I'd, I'd hit an illustration straight away and so if I have a particular story I'd like to uh, visualize uh, sometimes the illustrations come sort of instantly but there are other stories that I, I I feel around for what what is the best image of the story to represent in an illustration that doesn't give away the plot or is not a spoiler so some take about three or four mm. to like of designs to actually get the idea uh, it, yeah some can take a lot longer than mm. others mm. so what are you working on at the moment I'm currently working on a younger readers uh, novel so uh, younger readers or young adults we don't <laughs> I don't know which way it feels. I think it's more of a young adult novel, so, so 12 and up. It's more of a fantasy, uh, wizardry, sorcery type uh, genre. Mm -hmm. And so it's more lighthearted than, than, these, than these stories. So yeah, it could suit a more broader audience. And so that's the project, and that's a novel project. Mm -hmm. So that's one, one large manuscript. So, just as a maybe last point, um, you know, do you consider yourself to be a better writer or il or illustrator? <laughs> it's one of the hardest questions everyone's ever asked me. Mm. <laughs> um, it's 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 I find it hard because storytelling comes from both mediums, and uh, I've been writing for as long as I've been drawing, so it's very difficult. Sometimes, mm. yeah, it's. To give you an absolute answer, I'd say writing, uh, but they, they run so closely together. It's, it's like they're a partner. And the one basically, if I choose the project, one will not exist without the other. So when I produced a project, they existed together. So I guess as a whole, as a complete, uh, I guess, release as, a, as an author, I would put Illustrator there as well mm -hmm. because I love to visualize my work. Um, so as much as my editor told me that I like to paint with words, I also like to show the imagery too. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. Actually, David, there is a website that people can sort of look for, look for more information on you and also find your work. Um, mm. Could you tell us what that website is, please? Well, it's uh, www.davidchembrywriter, um, and it's a YOLA site. So if you type in David Chembry Writer, uh, it'll, it'll come up. Okay, cool. Yeah.